Welcome guys, in this video, I will give you some tips and tricks for close quarter fights, and it will definitely help you to improve your close combat skills. Anyway, we will be taking a look at the top 5 most common situations in close range fights, starting with door to door fights. Door to door fights are the most common thing in close range, for example, this is you, and this is your enemy, and there is a door in between both of you. So in this type of situations, there are two possible outcomes, either you go inside to kill your opponent, or wait for your opponent to come out, both are very high risk, but I think going inside is more risky, I mean if you go directly inside, example like this. You never know how many enemies are inside, and what weapons they are using, and most importantly your enemy's exact positions, so you will know exactly where to shoot when you go inside. So it's always a better option to wait for your opponent to rush inside, because you know the enemy will have to come through the door. There is only one thing you need to do in this type of situations, just focus on the door, and make sure that your aim is on the head level, which will help you to get instant headshots, and most importantly start shooting, as soon as you see the enemy entering through the door. But you should know this, if your opponent took some time to analyze the situation and knows your exact location, then the chances of you winning in this type of situations are quite low, because your enemy may have some sort of plan to take you down. Sometimes you end up in a situation where your enemy doesn't want to come out, and you don't want to go inside, either one of you has to do something otherwise it would be boring. So if you don't have any more patience and you want to rush inside, you need to double check these following things. The first one would be to check for your helmet and vest. If you don't have them, then I highly recommend not to push inside, because there is a possibility that you could get knocked in just one shot. And the next one is to know your enemy's location, so when you go inside, you will know exactly where to shoot at. And lastly, analyze the situation for example, how many enemies are inside, and what weapons they are using, if you notice any airdrop weapons it is risky to go inside, because your opponents are most likely looted an airdrop which means they will have level 3 helmet and vest, and 2 airdrop weapons, which makes it way more riskier. And most importantly, when you are entering through a door, you need to enter, by jumping example like this. You need to hit the jump button at this exact location, which will increase your movement speed. The main reason why I recommend you to jump is because, when you jump your character will gain a lot of speed which makes you a harder target to hit, and your enemy will miss the shots. I mean it is very difficult to track someone jumping like this. I use this trick all the time, as soon as I jump, it will be very hard for the enemies to shoot at me, because I'm moving too quickly plus it makes me less vulnerable. This trick works all the time for me, sometimes I use prone, right after jumping to confuse the enemies. I mean, there are other possibilities, like shooting when the opponent is peeking from the door, but the first two are the most common thing to happen. Anyway moving on to the next one, wall to wall fights, it's another most common fights in close range, you and the opponent both has some sort of cover, example like this. There are three things you could do in this type of situations, either you attack the enemy, or wait for your opponent to attack on you, or you could run away from this fight. So in this type of situations, you need to use your close combat tactics, like jump shot, and drop shot, strafing left and right, also known as jiggle movement, and other tactical skills. If you want to rush at the enemy, then you need to pre-fire when you rush, example like this. If your enemy peeks during the pre-fire then you're most likely to win the fight. Pre-firing is really important, if you ignore it, you will end up dying like this, and you could also use jump shot and pre-fire, or drop shot and pre-fire, they both are really effective. Strafing left and right and pre-firing is also an effective way. And if your enemy is rushing at you, you could do jump shot as well, but if they rush with a pre-fire then you'll get knocked immediately right after jumping, and you should be very careful about enemies pre-fire and rest all depends on your crosshair placement and your aim. Moving on to the next one, window fights. Window fights in close range are the least common fights in my opinion. It rarely happens in close range, but it's better to be prepared. So here are two tips for window fights. The first tip is, don't stay too close to the window while shooting, sometimes your bullets may hit the wall instead of the enemy. And also place your crosshair a bit higher than usual, or just simply aim at the head level, otherwise your bullets may get blocked by the window frame. 
And the second tip is, switch to first-person perspective, because FPP will give you some advantages in window fight situations. For example, here I am shooting in third-person view, and the bullets are actually hitting the window frame instead of the wall. And now I switch to the first-person view and shooting at the same wall again, so now the bullets are actually hitting at the wall. But as soon as I switched back to the third-person view, the bullets are again hitting at the window frame instead of the wall. I don't know exactly what's happening here. Maybe the game mechanics are broken I think. And also using FPP will give you more field of view, for example, in FPP you can see this box, and when I switch to third person view, you won't able to see the box. So just remember to switch to FPP in window fight situations to get an advantage. Moving on to the next situation, open field fights, this is the situation, where you are in a completely open area without any type of cover, or maybe ridge covers like these, in these scenarios it all matters on who shoots first, if your enemy shot you first, then your chances of winning the fight is very low. But you can actually increase the chances of you winning the fight by dodging the bullets, by moving left and right, also known as jiggle movement, it's a little bit complicated to learn so let me show you an easier one. You just have to move in a left direction completely, or in a right direction depending on your situation. When you move in a certain direction while shooting, your enemy has to constantly change the crosshair placement depending on how you move. If your enemy doesn't change crosshair placement according to your movements, then he will miss all the bullets. So you can take advantage of that situation and dodge the bullets and kill your opponent. So the next method is, you have to move either left or right direction, and then suddenly change the direction to the opposite one, first move left for about 1 to 2 seconds, and then suddenly switch it to the right direction. For example, here I am moving my joystick in the left direction. In about 1 to 2 seconds I will suddenly switch it to the right direction. So now the enemy got confused when I suddenly changed my direction. I think the enemy's crosshair placement is still at this location, due to the sudden change in the direction the enemy has to realize and change the crosshair placement, according to the way how I move, but before they even realize they will be dead. My biggest tip for open field fights is move as much as you can to dodge the bullets. And once you get used to strafing left and right, you will always be unbeatable in close combat fights. Anyway moving on to the next situation, broken wall fights, broken walls are everywhere in the map, and it gives really good cover, but while attacking all you have to do is jump and fire. The first thing is you should have your jump and climb separate otherwise you will climb up the wall instead of jumping, and it could get you killed in some situations. Just go to basic settings and scroll down you will find jump and climb, enable it, now go to your layout and adjust your climb button and jump button. Now all you have to do is practice how to jump and fire. Anyway, if the wall is too small you don't need to jump and fire, you could directly fire example like this. Anyway, that's all I got for this video I hope you learned something new. If you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, and see you guys in the next video, enjoy my bot gameplay. To me, this is what's precious, yeah In my soul, man, I can feel it So every single verse, man, I just gotta go and kill it, man I gotta be the kid, I could be the guy Taking you out, I could be the villain But good as a kid, lately I'm painting my path for my way, yeah I got no time that I can waste, so I've been sitting in the space, yeah Making rest every day, man You know that I go insane, yeah I hit you with a bullet to the brain Let us stop first, cause we going, you going insane You don't know what I'm gonna do 
You don't know what is next And I'm loving the fact Truly it's making me blessed Cause I Work on my team No snakes in the grass And we Have been trust in the wind Because of the work that we did in the past Because of the work that we did in the past Then we went to hours, you barely got breath So I get the realm and we didn't finesse So I got the feelings that we might be nasty Cause when we go in, we win in the match yeah, yeah. When we go in, we win in the match So that's how we do, cause we be the best yeah. We be the best, best Yeah, we be the best well, Yeah, we be the best, best nah, We be the best, hey Yeah, we be the best, best hey. We be the best, yo You wanna come to my test, well You want to see we the best, hey You don't see that with a best case, so I suggest you never really come and test it But otherwise, I will smack your face like Michael Jordan does with a ball on the basket Oh damn kid, why you didn't expect it? You never really thought that this could just happen But now I'm really coming and we pull out with the action Just people the feed, those they don't get it like